Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, members of the council. Uh, my name is Joan Briano. I am a candidate for Fullerton City Council. I'm sure you've seen my signs around town. And the mantra for me is a moratorium on all new development until we can get a handle on the problems that are very many and very broad in terms of their reach and scope and impact on the residents. You're hearing a lot of that tonight. We have a mayor that spent the morning trying to figure out how to deal with opponents to high density housing developments and land use issues and she is also the vice president of Kurt Pringle and Associates. Her name is Jennifer Fitzgerald. She needs to be removed from office in November because she is diametrically opposed to everything everyone here is pleading for and that is to halt this insane development. She is an operative for an Agenda 21 expansion of high density housing in Fullerton. Ladies and gentlemen, our problems have just begun. What we're suffering from with these dilapidated fields and these ridiculously crowded parking situations with the Gestapo putting parking tickets into people's windshields who can't afford to barely get by, is just the tip of the iceberg. Because let me tell you something, folks. If we don't throw some of these people out of office, it's going to get a heck of a lot worse. That's why I'm running for city council. we got a nightmare on our hands already. And the solution is to sneak more nightmares through behind everybody's backs and we've got someone on this city council who's masquerading as our mayor, who's actually working for one of the biggest players in the ball field in terms of development and government boondoggles. His name is Kurt Pringle. He's famous. He's got connections to the wireless industry, the building industry. I'm still waiting for Ms. Fitzgerald's client list to be fully disclosed. I'm appalled that nobody on this council has agendized her removal until she turns that thing over. And in terms of what Mr. Levinson brought up here tonight, you know, there are a lot of problems with uh, some of our council members. There are two that are up for re-election right now. And one is patently, obviously, needing to be removed, Ms. Fitzgerald. There are a lot of people in this community that think she's the neatest thing to slice bread. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that the voting records speak for themselves. The crime rate's only going to continue under the auspices of a voting record like that because we keep giving away raises to police and fire and refuse to hire more officers because we can't afford the unsustainable compensation plans. So we're less, we're, we have less officers on the street than we did 20 years ago, and our solution is to build our way out of this with high-density housing. We're going to have more people, more crime, more traffic, more traffic tickets, and more of a divide between the haves, the have-nots, the people in power, and the people that sit here and ignore everything you say, and the people that hold you in derision. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm running for office, and I plan on cleaning some house, digging into the city's finances, finding where all the money went, why these roads are a mess, what happened to all the dough, who's been sleeping on the job, and outsource as much of this stuff as we can to return this community to the interests of the community and the residents. Thank you. Thank you.